Berger Paints for lasting beauty and protection, and the Belize Bank, our country, your bank. Good evening, I'm Jim Saderle. Welcome to this edition of Sports Monday. The 2014 PLB Bellikin Cup kicked off over the weekend but was only able to stage three of the four scheduled matches due to inclement weather. We caught up with the monster showdown between the Belize Defense Force and FC Belize inside the People's Stadium yesterday and it turned out to be a monster show. It's FC Belize looking to open the scoreboard after set piece launch by Agustin Mendez that forces the BDF to scramble on defense. FC Belize continues to push forward and Oliver Hendricks should have done better with this open look at goal. The BDF responds with this acrobatic land from Harrison Tasha, but it fails to hit the target. Again, FC Belize attacks off the corner kick and again it's a good one from Agustin Mendes and again FC Belize can't come up with the breakthrough. Now folks, you make the call. The BDF's Jesse Smith has possession. Here comes Floyd Jones with the challenge inside the box. Jones protests the referee's penalty call much too vehemently and escapes with a yellow card. Valance Sims beats goalkeeper Herman Grajales to the near corner as the BDF takes a one-zip lead at the 38th minute. The BDF looks for more when Shane Flores attacks off the left side, but Grajales comes up with a necessary touch. And Joe Allen then fires this left foot at goal. The tip by Grajales could have given Osmar Duran his goal, but Duran does not come up with the connection. Just before intermission, Andrew Allen deals to Shane Flores, whose right foot punch beats Grajales for the two-zip BDF lead at the half. Five minutes after the action resumes, Oliver Hendricks provides nicely for Christopher Hendricks, who manages to hit the near upright. At the 65th minute, Ricky Richlets comes up with this illegal challenge inside the box and the referee rules penalty in favor of FC Belize. Oliver Hendricks gets the call and Tevin Gamboa is beaten as FC Belize pulls one back for the 2-1 score. Nevertheless, the Belize Defense Force would go on to hold on to the 2-1 Big W. In other action around the league, Verdes FC doubled San Ignacio 4-2. Wagia picked up a road win by blanking Paradise Freedom Fighters 2 zip, while Saturday's match between Belmopan Bandits and the Police United was rained out. This match is now rescheduled for Wednesday, 22nd October, inside the Isidoro Beaton Stadium. Looking ahead to week two, Saturday, 7.30 p.m., Placencia Assassins play host to the Police United at the Michael Ashcroft. 3.30 on Saturday, FC Belize faces Verdes at Louisiana Field, that's OW. On Sunday, Wagia will get a visit from Belmont Bandits, and Paradise Freedom Fighters will host the BDF. Both matches kick off at 3.30 p.m. Turning to the softball scene, we caught up with a clash between Caribbean Queen of Carmelita and Orange Walk Jaders inside the People's Stadium on Saturday. We're in the top of the second when Kira Palacio comes up with runners at second and third. She pops up to the infield, but the attempt to out the runner at second base allows the first run of the ball game as Jaders take a one-zip lead. In the third, OW Jaders comes up big. Anna Gillett makes it a triple with this swing against Number 47. Hey, don't blame us people. The Jada's pitcher's name was not included on the list. Linda Kanarki brings her home and reaches first base on the decision to try for the out at home plate. Folks, Janice Kanarki then comes up with this in the park home run for two more runs as Caribbean Queen take a 3 1 lead in the bottom of the third. In the top of the fourth, Kira Palacio smashes this double to center field, bringing home Claudette Lawrence and Kimberly Williams to tie the score at four apiece. In the bottom of the fifth, Yvette Flowers comes up with two on and benefits on the error at shortstop to bring the runner home from second base. Janice Kanaki comes up in the sixth with this hit that brings Linda Kanaki home. Janelle Kanaki unleashes this monster hit to bring home Janice Kanaki and Elizabeth Aiko. Unfortunately, Janelle would hurt herself on the way to third base and would not continue. Nevertheless, Carmelita, Caribbean queen, goes on to post the 9-6 big W over Orange Walk Jadas to take game one in this best of three championship series, so stay tuned. 
Finally, in cycling news, here is Wilbur Jones winning the Weekend Warriors 40 Mile A Class race stage yesterday, pulling out of the crowd to win in 1 hour, 58 minutes, 24 seconds. Barney Brown of Scotia Bank out sprinted the pack to take second place with Jack Sutherland, Warren Cowie, and Jamie Frampton rounding out the top five in that order. Jim Scott of Santino's won the B class ride, and we say good show, Jim. Ryan Willoughby of Stationary House Medina's edged out Santino Castillo for second place. Salvador Alvarado took fourth, and Chris Cowie fifth. Ingmar Pereira took the C class with Sheffield Eck taking second, both of Stationary House Medina's and Lawrence Craig of Truckers. He finished third. Hey, folks, that's our show for today. We invite you back, same time, same place next week. Ja! Overall, I'm James Adderley. Sports Monday was brought to you by...